Hello Metal Gear Solid fans, this is Solid Dave Snake bringing you a video on the Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater Naked Snake Sneaking Suit Version Hot Toy. And if you're a big Metal Gear Solid fan then you've probably known about this being in the works for the past year and it just came out this December and a hot toy for the boss just came out this month. So they released two for this game and uh, this is the first ever uh, Metal Gear anything made by Hot Toys and if you don't know what Hot Toys is they are the Cadillac of action figures they're kind of like the old school 12 inch G.I. Joe's where they have a, a 12 inch really poseable body and they have a lot of detail in the sculpting and outfits and accessories and basically just just a high, high class uh, toy and they are very expensive as well. You pay for the quality. This figure was $220, so you pay for the quality, but the quality is definitely there. For it being the first uh, Metal Gear related hot toy, they did an excellent job. There is detail galore all over this figure. And uh, we'll just get right into them then. I'll uh, start off with the accessories. Start off with what's in his hand here. the M16 and it is just like how an old M16 is supposed to be it's got authentic detail everywhere even the end of the barrel is open and with all of the accessories there are little actions everywhere all over it like the little trap for the uh, expended uh, rounds that can open up and down and the magazine will actually pull right out and you can see the little rounds in there and you can slap it right back in so it comes with a nice M16 His nicest weapon I think he comes with is a M60, his heavy machine gun. And there are a lot of little things that go on with this gun. Uh, for starters, the sights will actually flip up right there, the raised sights. And this whole upper unit will actually flip up you can see the shells going in right there let me slam that back down and the ammo drum it comes with you can slide it in right here and if you see when you slide it all the way in it pops that open so it actually looks like the shells are getting fed in so that's a nice touch. Really nice detail overall on this M60. He comes with, pistol wise, his 45 1911. And same thing with uh, the rifles. There's a lot of detail on this pistol. The hammer will actually pull back, and the magazine will slide out. See the 45 caliber ammo in there. And the silencer will actually come off as well. And it's just a little peg that will fit in the barrel. And on a lot of hot toy uh, handguns, the slide will slide back, but not on this 45. I kind of was expecting it to do that. It almost looks like it'll do it, but uh, I didn't want to force it too hard. I don't think it slides back. But overall, it's a nice 45. You can see the uh, wear on the gun where it looks like there's chrome coming out. It's pretty nice. And it'll actually fit in the holster in its side. I'll show that whenever I go over the figure. He comes with his tranquilizer gun. 
uh, there's nothing too special about this. You can see a little bit of the metal wear on it. A Claymore mine. One of the food rations from the game. Binoculars. And it looks like these binoculars will fold here at the hinge, but they don't. But still nice detail on the binoculars. And he comes with three different kinds of grenades. He comes with a fragmentation grenade. And a smoke and chaff grenade. The only difference on them is uh, this has a gray bar across the middle of it. And the other one has a dark blue. And last but not least, he comes with a cardboard box. If, if you know Metal Gear games well enough, you know he, uh, in every game you can get in a cardboard box and sneak around. And it actually comes with tape that you can... Uh, tape it together after you fold it out but I'm not actually going to put mine together I don't ever see a point in uh, putting this figure in the box but uh, it is neat that he comes with it and it actually shows where it's pretty nice and he also comes with six interchangeable hands in total only two for the right uh, hand but four for the left and he comes with in open grip right hand and a fist right hand and then a fist left hand and three different uh, different grips. He's got a tight grip to a loose grip. So that's really the only difference is just being able to make him hold different accessories with it. And his last two accessories that are actually on the figure that I haven't shown yet are his close quarter combat knife which you can pull right out of the shape here give you a close look at it it's actually the hardest item to get him to hold that he comes with um, you can loosely get it in the very tight uh, left-handed uh, glove but that's about it that slides right back in And the other knife he comes with is the survival knife. And I'm not actually going to pull it out because I've noticed a lot of people that have done videos on him already haven't put him in, haven't put the survival knife in correctly. I figured it out how to get it in there right. A lot of people just stick the knife in this upper loop, but you got to stick it in the lower part and then put this loop over top of it. And once you get it in there, it's really hard to get it out without feeling like you're going to tear that upper loop off so I'm just going to leave it in but it basically just looks like a K-bar survival knife that's basically all it is and last but not least he comes with this nifty stand it's just the basic hot toy stand you can uh, you can actually adjust it to any way you want it this will raise up and then it's got the Metal Gear Solid 3 snake eater and naked snake sneaking suit version so that's a nice base but now we will go over all the detail on this naked snake. And if you get it on his face here, you can see that the detail they put on him, it, it's spot on. I mean, it's a lot easier to get video game characters than movie uh, actors, I'm sure. But even the, <clears throat> the movie figures they do just look photorealistic sometimes. You can just see the glare coming off his eye. Very, very, very detailed. And uh, one really nice thing about this head sculpt is the bandana on the back. You can actually take this off and put it to however you want it to make it look like it's blowing in the wind or you can make it look like it's coming straight back like that. So that was a really nice, uh, nice addition, I thought.
just paying attention to the small details. Very nice. You can see the codec in his ear, and the wire will actually run to his chest, radio piece on his chest, and then it'll run further down on his pouch. It'll actually run into the radio. So that's really realistic, really nice. And this suit is actually made out of leather. I mean, it smelled like a new car whenever I took it out of the box. Just very fine attention to detail. It looks just like the sneaking suit he wore at the end of the game. Um, on the arms, you can actually see that there's threads. They actually use threads on the suit. And his gloves are hard plastic but they sure do match well. They're pliable and bendable so you can fit the fingers in the triggers and uh, all that good stuff. But it is actually a harder plastic, but it still matches very well with the leather suit. And uh, all these straps and buckles, are they're all straps and they're all little metal bu uh, belt buckles. He's got the same stitching on his side. And let me get his arms to the side, and I'll go over this, uh, his uh, belt buckle here. You can actually take these off. If you see the little hole there, you could take this whole thing off. You can take these straps off, and if you see his main belt buckle for his uh, strap on his waist. That can actually come off too and you can take all that off, but what's the point in that? So I'm going to strap it back on and go over all the pouches on his belt now. And these basic ones, all, all the, all the uh, pouches can be opened up, but these basic ones just have styrofoam inside of it just to make it fillers. But the first real piece you come to that actually has almost like another accessory is the canteen pouch. These will actually open up, and you can take that canteen out, and the lid will unscrew. His back pouch, if you take this out, he actually has a blanket in there. So I thought that was another neat accessory. And, of course, I already showed his radio, what leads up to his earpiece. and his holster. And you can actually open that up and fit his 1911 in there. It'll fit in there nice and snug and you can close it back up. But that's it for the belt and lower. It just continues just like the suit up top with uh, the leather and the lacing down at the ankles. And his boots are a hard plastic kind of like his gloves. And that's it. Great job on the first uh, Metal Gear Hot toy and I'm actually hoping that they do since it says this is the sneaking suit version. It'd be nice to get the jungle camouflage version of him if uh, they ever thought about doing that eventually. I think that'd be nice, but I uh, was very happy to get this, and uh, a great job. Thanks for watching, guys.